fresh out of the mailbox and hopefully it's some sort of redemption by the house of Latafa. The last fragrance was just eh, but I'm hoping that this one brings us back to the Latafa hype train. So let's roll my motherfucking music so we can take a look at Latafa's Aswad? Aswad. Ashwad. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to the U to the B to the A. Ashwad. Ashwad by the house of Latafa. Another 30 some odd dollar cheapie that I'm hoping is pretty decent. This is a nice decent sized box with a little slider case. Let's jump right into it because the last one was just, I believe I saw one or two comments indicating that the last fragrance, I should have gotten the silver version of it. So maybe there's a way better one. So hopefully that's it. So here's the unboxed presentation of Aswad. It's a slider box. A lot of, it looks like a inside of a kaleidoscope or some shit. Truly Middle Eastern. And let's make sure that the bottle isn't gonna fall out. Oh, this, I thought it was a smaller bottle. I really didn't look at the M, this is, a large, this is a large format bottle that looks like it should have been smaller. You'll see what I mean. Tell me this doesn't look like it should be like 30 ml. And this is a 60 ml version. It looks kind of like a Nasamato bottle on steroids. Like the shit is on TRT or growth hormone. So Aswad, Ashwad, Ajwad by Latafa. All right, let's try this joint out. And then we'll look up some notes. I don't know if I love this presentation. It really does look like an overgrown Nasamato bottle. Mm, something about it is a little bit off-putting, but let's hope the scent is good. All right. As Ashwad by Latafa. Rose Oud. A little bit on the Oud Satin Mood vibe, but slightly more femme. Definitely very rosy, like Bulgarian or Turkish rose. Got a satiny, silky finish. Okay, it's getting a little bit better. It just felt a little bit too femme and a little bit too mature on that opening, but it has components of oud satin mood for sure, especially that Turkish or Bulgarian rose that I'm getting off of here. Wheat, sugary, lean slightly femme, not gonna hold you. The more it dries down, it gets a little bit more on the fruitier side. So I'm getting fruity, rose, maybe subtle hints of amber, but I just can't get over the femininity of this fragrance. It isn't bad at all, actually. It's a very pretty fragrance, but I don't find a masculine redeeming quality for my particular taste in this fragrance. Aswad, what are you doing? Try a little bit like a small spritz on skin just to see if the skin is reacting a little differently. Um, if not, my wife is gonna stab me in the fucking eye for smelling like another chick when she's not around And I'm sure I'm gonna get blamed for something that I didn't do so I might as well do it I'm kidding. I'm, that's a joke. She never watches my videos anyway. Okay, so on the skin it does reduce its femininity Not by a lot. It's still a very fruity musky rosish slightly ambery fragrance but it doesn't present as much as that oud satin mood off the skin. I do like the fact that off my skin it doesn't smell as femme, but it's just okay. It's not amazing. It is better than the last one, but uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't drive me crazy. Like I went from having such amazing reactions to these Latafa cheapies that now I feel like I've picked up all the hype fire shit and now I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel and not, it's not making me happy. I'm trying to force myself to like it, which is not something that I want to do. It just doesn't do it for me. It really is just pretty and leans more femme. And I think it could play off very nicely off a young lady's skin. But for me, it doesn't do a damn thing. Still better than the last one though. So for me on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this like a 3.7, which is 0.2 higher than the last Latafa, but I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. It was a little disappointing to be honest with you. So if you guys can please recommend the next fire Latafa fragrance, I would truly appreciate that shit. But unfortunately, this is not a ball sprayer. So I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. <sighs> Smooches. Hello, hello, hello.